today we're taking a look at Duet Ultra Glide. And Duet Ultra Glide with the common headrail is a very robust system, but sometimes the lift mechanisms up in the headrail can fail to operate. And it is a very serviceable shade. Go ahead and knock the end cap off here, and we'll move the end cap out of the way. Move my hammer and my screwdriver out of the way and slide the headrail back. And here we're looking at the lift mechanism up inside the Ultra Glide lift. These rivets here in the top of the lift here, one, two, three rivets here, um, tell me that I cannot take this component apart. It's a riveted part. It's made to be replaced. I'm going to have to replace the whole thing. Another thing I need to understand is there's this tab on the bottom of the lift here that fits into this hole in the fabric. And that's what holds that lift in place, keeps it centered on the fabric there. So if I just lift up on the tab there, the lift removes very easily from the headrail. Now I need to recycle a couple of components on this. I'm going to want to recycle my lift cord here. And I can go ahead and just pull the cord out here a little bit, lock it off with a hemostat, get the hemostat on there. That prevents the cord from fighting me the whole time I'm trying to separate it. I'm going to go ahead and separate my stop ball. I'm going to come in from the top of the stop ball here, and we're going to zoom in on this guy. Come in from the top of the stop ball here. These two features here are the top features. I'm going to come in and just pry that apart just a little bit with my millwright scribe. And once I come in through the top and swing it around, it disassembles very easily. That just basically fell apart there. So that's the disassembly of the stop ball. I want to, run, I want to reuse this tassel here on my new lift. This lift is broken, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in my new lift here. And things I have to understand is this is a three-quarter inch lift. And I bring in my new lift here. It's kind of a naked lift at this point. It doesn't have anything on it. I need this spacer here that the nylon component that the cord runs over and this shifter arm here to match up with the other system. Attaching the shifter arm here, we're going to take our old lift out of the way. Attaching our shifter arm here, the shifter arm attaches onto this black feature that slides back and forth on the lift itself. The shifter arm has these little grabbies, these little tabs here that grab onto that shifter arm. I'm just going to simply take it over to the bottom of the lift here, press it into place, and my shifter arm is now attached. The other thing I need to do is attach this nylon component here so that the cord comes out the right surface, comes out the front of the headrail, and lines up with the shifter arm there. It just ta attaches on, put the pin in the center here, and it attaches on around the side and the top. Then I pull my cord around over the nylon glider there, and I've just assembled a three-quarter inch Ultra Glide lift here. I'm ready to go ahead and go back into my headrail, but first I want to reattach my tassel cord. And that just attaches in, push together, and it snaps in place there. I want to give it a little tug, make sure it's really on there good. So now I've got my new lift here ready to go into my headrail. Go ahead and glide out here a little bit, bring the headrail back in. So here we're looking at this going into my headrail. This is a V-notch drive system here at the end of the shade. This is what drives the shading here. Now something that can happen is I could pull one of these apart and have one of these guys on the lift here. And all that is is a V-notch driver that attaches onto my lift mechanism here. It just attaches on here. I can't just add one of these in the field without shortening the shaft. I have to shorten it about an inch and a quarter for that to fit onto here. So I can't just add one of these in the field without shortening this shaft. Mine didn't come with one, so I'm not going to put one in it. The V drive here lines up with the V in the shaft. And that's basically all there is to replacing it is line the V shaft up into the lift, make sure my tab over here on the right side lines up with the hole, push it into place there, get that into place, and then slide the headrail back over. And I want to be careful front and rear of this fabric getting caught in the edges of the headrail here. can be kind of sharp there. Might want to check that and deburr it if I have a deburring tool. The other thing I want to do is make sure the cord's coming out the front of the shifter and then slide it all in. This is how it's supposed to operate up here in the headrail. That looks pretty good. Got this notch in the front of the headrail that the shifter arm has to fit into. So everything's a real specific size once you get it all together. Then I'm going to go ahead and tap my end cap on here. 
And that's basically what you have to do to repair a Duet Ultra Glide lift mechanism.